Are you all right? Ah, hey, man. Regular nosy Parker, isn't he? Oh, he's just doing his job. Shouldn't think even you would mind a little extra protection these nights. I can manage very well without their help. I suppose that's what those other two thought. Look, girlie, take my advice. Be smart. Just don't go around alone until they pick him up. And when's that going to be? How long are we going to have to wait? Wait until it happens again? And which one of us will it be? Well, I'm going home. Watch your step now. Don't worry, I will. Night. Good night. your face. Your painted face. No. No, please don't. Lupino is our luxe leading lady tonight. And like nine out of ten stars here in Hollywood, her soap is luxe soap. She's never found a beauty soap quite so gentle. And neither will you. The beauty of luxe is a mildness, a gentleness, a smoother, more radiant complexion day in and day out. For luxe, as you will discover for yourself, is so naturally gentle and as mild as a beauty soap can possibly be. It has a fragrance as subtle as your favorite perfume. And Lux Lather is more than just a rich, creamy lather. It's so thorough, so gentle. Truly a cosmetic lather that helps keep your complexion clear, clean, and always lovely. Use Lux in four pastel colors as well as white. In bath size or regular, the nicest complexion care a girl can have. That's the beauty of Lux. crowded here in Bert. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, they're all crowded now. We can share a table with someone. But excuse me. You can share mine if you like. Oh, there's someone leaving now. We can have that one. Come on. Thank you so much. We don't have to bother you after all. Oh, really? It wasn't in it. Yes, who is it? May Healy, from upstairs. Oh, sorry if I gave you a fright. Oh, no, you didn't, really. I just wasn't expecting anyone. Do come in. Oh, and you weren't taking any chances, were you? Oh, I don't blame you. I wouldn't open the door for 20 quid these days. Not unless I was sure it was. You're frightened because of what happened last night, aren't you? Well, what else? One last night, one the week before, and one the week before that, and all right in this neighborhood. You don't have a drink by any chance, do you? I'm afraid I don't. It doesn't matter. I've got to get going anyway. I don't have that much time. Oh, no. Please, don't go yet. Can't you stay for a little while? It's so nice to have someone to talk to. Please, won't you sit down? Well, 
There is one thing you could do for me, if you would. Of course, anything I can. Well, since I'm pulling out of here and seeing that the telephone's right outside your door, I wonder if you'd mind taking any messages for me and giving them my new number. I don't like to lose friends. You really are frightened, aren't you? I knew them. All three of them. How terrible for you. I don't want to be the next. Isn't it funny? I've never once thought that I might be. Oh, you won't be. You don't have to worry about it. No, I know I don't. Oh, I, I only meant... But you don't go out much at night and... And I'm not pretty enough for anyone to bother about. Oh, now, listen, dearie. I... Oh, that's all right. I'm not blaming you. I just suddenly wanted to say it. I've never been able to admit it before. But I'm 32 years old, and nobody's felt very strongly about me one way or the other. Not love or even hate. You make them sound as though they were both the same. No, not the same. But very close, I think. You know, when I read about those girls in the paper, I just couldn't bring myself to think that it was as terrible as everyone else thought it was. Well, it sounds strange, doesn't it? A little. Yes, but don't you see? No matter what he did, however horrible, he must have felt something about the girl. You have to be so conscious of them that nothing else matters. Nobody else in the world exists except just the two of you. That's almost like love. Oh, you, you give me the creeps talking like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I, I suppose it comes from thinking too much about it. I do think about it. And about him. You know, even when I'm at work during the day, I stop and find myself thinking, how is he getting through the day? Does he work like anyone else? Look like anyone else? And at night, is he always alone? Well, he must be now after what he's done. And is he alone right this minute? And if he is, where is he? What is he doing? Ready for another? Hmm. Still got some. You're not much of a drinker, are you? I should have remembered after last night. I wasn't in here last night. Sure you were. You were sitting over in that booth there. As you remember, I was uh, talking to a, a, a lady and uh, I kept looking over to see if you need another drink. And, uh, yeah, come to think of it, it seems to me you, you left right after she did. You're mistaken. I've never been in here before. I don't even live in the neighborhood. Oh, well, could be wrong. Are you in? The police are after me. What for? I don't know. They tried to arrest me. I panicked and I ran. You're not afraid of me, are you? No, I don't think I am. I know I should be, but I'm not. You don't have to be. Nothing's going to happen to you. I'm not a criminal. You must believe me. But then why did you run away? I don't know. I just did. I was afraid. Haven't you ever been afraid without knowing why? Yes. Well, then you understand. Well, yes, I understand, but that isn't going to help you. If I could just stay here for an hour or so, I'd be all right. I lost them a little way back. If I let you stay, and you have done something wrong, I'll be breaking the law, too. But I haven't done anything wrong. I'd remember, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Yes, yes, of course. Oh, I'm so exhausted. 
I have to stay with <laughs> I think you'd better come and sit down. You take that one, Ward, and I'll try this one over here. It's the police. What are you going to do? You're not going to tell them about me, are you? Please. No. Oh, hurry. Get in there. Hurry. Yes, who is it? Police, madam. Can we speak to you, please? It's all right, madam. It really is the police. Oh, well, I just wanted to be sure. What's the trouble, officer? Well, we're looking for a man that we think entered these buildings a few minutes ago. Oh, well, he didn't come in here. Well, we're asking in all the flats just to be sure. I see. Sorry to have troubled you, madam, but we don't want to take any chances. Good night. Officer, uh, what has this man done? Oh, we just uh, want to ask him a few questions. Is he dangerous? It's possible he might be the strangler, so don't take any chances. Keep your door locked. Good night, madam. Good night. It's all right. You can come out now. Soon as the honeymoon is over, a bride starts doing dishes and more dishes. Yet she wants her hands to stay lovely. That's why all brides need Lux Liquid. Lux Mild Lux Liquid. Now, all dishwashing products claim they're mild, and some are comparatively mild. But Lux Liquid is Lux Mild, Beauty Soap Mild, and that's only the half of it, because Lux Liquid is doubly mild. It works so well, your hands spend less time in water. Lux Liquid cuts under grease, lifts it up, floats it away. Really a snap with Lux Liquid. Thrifty, too. Drop for drop, penny for penny. No other leading liquid washes as many dishes, yet is so mild. Lux Mild to start with, doubly mild. It works so well, your hands spend less time in water. A happy marriage of Lux Mildness and real efficiency. There's no liquid or powder like Lux Liquid. I haven't done anything wrong. Why did they think you did? They say I was in a pub last night. The girl that was killed was there, too. Were you there? No. I don't think so. But you're not sure. Well, I forget things. Little things, but... I wouldn't forget anything important, would I? Well, even if you were there, lots of other people were there, too. It doesn't prove anything. No, it doesn't. I'm very grateful to you for what you've done. Oh, I haven't done anything, really. They'll catch up with you eventually, you know that. All I've done is given you a little time. But that's just what I need. If they catch the person they think did it, before they find me, then it won't matter. You don't look like a criminal to me. My father used to say that what you are shows in your face that evil is the one thing that you can't hide. As soon as I saw you, I knew that you'd help me. You have the kind of beauty that comes from goodness. It's the first time I've ever heard it called that. People don't know how to recognize beauty when they see it. They think a painted mask is a beautiful woman. They don't realize that it's only a mask. Emptiness and corruption beneath it. You, you sound like a minister. My father used to say that. He was a minister. Sometimes I'm glad he's dead. So he can't see that I not only never became a minister, I never became anything. Are you feeling ill? Just tired. I do wish I had some brandy to give you. I don't drink. It's my head. I have some headache powders, and I could make you some tea. Thank you. You have a lovely smile. You should always smile. There isn't that much to smile at. You mean because of my being here? No, no, of course not. Well, I'll, I'll go in a while. I'll not bother you anymore. But you can't. It's, 
It's not safe. They'll be searching all over this section for you. But I can't stay here forever. But you can stay tonight. You could sleep right here on the couch. And then in the morning when it's safe, you... you can go away. Yes, what is it? Well, I'd like to see some jackets, please. Men's jackets. It's closing time. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. But I just finished work. I couldn't get here any sooner. Oh, all right. What kind of a jacket do you want? Oh, any kind. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as it isn't tweed. back before you got home. You shouldn't have gone out. I was careful. I waited until it was night, but I, I wanted to buy these for you. Oh, flowers. Are they lovely? Thank you. Nobody's ever given me flowers before. I'm glad I was the first, Clara. How did you know my name? It was on the mailbox. When I woke up this morning and found you weren't there, all I could think of was, <laughs> I don't even know her name. I still don't know yours. It's Ron. Ron Abbott. How do you do? Much better, thank you. I needed that sleep. Headache completely gone? Completely. Well, you must be hungry. I know there isn't much... Oh, I found some tin things, and I sort of mixed them together. They're heating now. Oh. Don't worry, I'm a pretty good cook. Dinner will be served almost immediately, madame. Thank you. Did you see a newspaper today? Yes, nothing very important. Just a vague description, except for the jacket. I bought you another one on the way home. I hope it fits. I hope it doesn't. Because if it fits, I, I wouldn't have any excuse for staying. But you do. It won't be safe for days. I mean, not really safe. But I can't impose on you like this. You're not imposing. It's nice having you here. Do you mean that? This is the first time I haven't minded coming home. Beautiful. She's your sister. I don't want to hurt your feelings. You mean you don't think she is? Well, she's very nice looking, but she can't compare with you. Oh, Ron. That's true. It's not. But I love to hear you say it. 
I'd give anything in the world to be beautiful. If only for one night. My mother and sister were both so beautiful. Ron, why are you looking like that? No reason. You never talk about your mother, only your father. Why? I never really knew her. She died when I was very young. It's almost as though I didn't have a mother. I know what you mean. I never really felt I had a mother either. You see, my sister and mother were both so close. Even when I was a child, I wasn't pretty. Everyone used to say, well, she'll probably be very clever. How could anybody say that? How could anyone look at you and not see how lovely you are? How clean and good? Ron, what is it? I have no right to talk to you like this. Why not? I have no money, no job. I've been sponging on you for weeks. That doesn't make any difference. It does to me. Besides, I have no reason for being here. The police aren't looking for me anymore. Does that mean you'll go away and I'll never see you again? No. It means that I'll look for a job, so that I have something to offer you, so I can ask you to marry me. You don't have to have anything but yourself. You mean... you would marry me? I love you. I'll marry you any time you say. Even without being sure that the police... I love you. I'm sure, perfectly sure. I'll look for a job tomorrow. Besides, it might be my lucky day. Oh. It's my birthday. before you come in. All right. I'll guide you. Come on. All right, go on. Now you can open them. Happy birthday, darling. How nice it looks. The only trouble is it's so dark I can't see you. I have another surprise. We're going to drink a toast. Tonight's really a night to celebrate. You're happy, aren't you? Oh, I'm so happy, Ron. <laughs> to us. To us. Go on, sit at the table. Now you can see me. Well, not very well. You look different. Must be the candlelight. It's more than that. There. Is that better? What have you done to yourself? Ron, I wanted to be pretty for you. I, I just had to be pretty for tonight. Please don't be angry. Scream. I won't hurt you. I just wanted to see your face. Your painted face. No, no please. No. No, please. Ron, what is it? You tricked me, didn't you? No. Don't lie to me. I thought you were dead. I thought that I'd killed you. Ron, please don't. You're frightening me. You painted that face and then ran off with another man. That's why I tried to find you. I wanted you dead. That's why I killed you. And now, I have to do it. 
all over again. Ron, please try to remember. I'm Clara. Clara. Ron! Look at the curtains! Please! Ron, I'm Clara. Can't you remember? I'm Clara, Ron. I'm not one of the others. I'm Clara. I'm Clara. Your face. You painted that face. Please. these people? What are they doing here? Please, don't hurt him. Are you all right, miss? Yes, I'm all right. Come on, here. Oh, you poor dear. He would have killed you if the Bobbies hadn't seen the flames and broken in. You're just plain lucky, if you ask me. He is lucky. Very lucky. And now here's a scene from next week's story on your Schlitz Playhouse. On the Brink, starring Mercedes McCambridge. Hey, huh? Uh, you want me to load it for you? Oh, no, no. Well, there's not much good to you unless it's loaded. Now, if anybody frightens you, you... Just yell your head off and let Mark or me come handle the gun. Does Mark know where it is? Well, of course he does. Know the real joy of good living. Aaron O'Brien sings for Schlitz. Know the real joy of good living. Doing what you want to do. Outdoors, under the sun, this is the fun of living. Know the real joy of good living. Have fun. Have Schlitz, one of life's most refreshing pleasures. It's brewed with just the kiss of the hops. When you order beer, ask for Schlitz. Know the real joy of good living. Move up to quality, move up to Schlitz, the beer that made Milwaukee famous. and Lux Liquid, products of Lieber Brothers Company, unconditionally guaranteed or your money refunded.